Welcome back to Flashpoint. Today we continue our interviews with the Charlotte City Council at large candidates. And today we're talking with Dipple Ajmira, who's looking to get reelected. Dipple, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ben, for having me. Um, starting all these interviews the same way, ending them as, uh, the same way as well. I'll begin with um, what is, if you are reelected, what is your number one priority? My number one priority continues to be the same thing, which is tackling our upward mobility. Um, and, and to that point, um, whether it's whether it's uh, you know uh, living wages, whether it's affordable housing, it continues to be a, um, an issue here in Charlotte. Th this past week, I, I know you all at City Council uh, passed um, some affordable housing projects, but as we know, um, it, it only goes very short distance to actually address the problem. Absolutely, you are absolutely correct. Uh, it's just the drop in the ocean, and I do recognize that. So when we talk about affordable housing, it's going to take more than city's resources to address the root of the issue, which means ensuring that we have workforce development initiatives that we continue to invest in, and also ensure that there is public transportation so people don't have to spend on average $6,000 a year on owning a car. So if we can have jobs that pay a livable wage, uh, we can really close the gap. So uh, we approved over 600 units on Monday, but that's just the drop in the ocean, and I recognize that. So specifically when it comes to affordable housing, because I know there's a much larger issues with the upper mobility you could talk about here, but specifically, what then could be the next thing you all do? Really, the next thing that council will be focused on or continues to stay focused on, on really addressing our transportation issues. We have our transportation system that is not reliable and that is not efficient. And we need funding to address our reliability and efficiency issues with our public transportation system. Currently, it takes an individual from, to get from point A to point B. It takes over an hour. And that is unacceptable for a city that is the size of ours, 15th largest city in the nation. I'm a product of public transportation system. When our family didn't own a car, we use public transportation system to get to work, to get to grocery store, to get to a doctor's appointment. And I can tell you with our public transportation system that we have, it's not reliable. Uh, people can't really use it to get to work. And we have to address that there are so many residents that do not own a car. So we have seen that uh, in news about how people just can't rely on that system to get to wherever they need to go on time. But so what are you all gonna do about it? And I, I've had multiple city council members on here, um, including the mayor pro tem recently, talking about this issue because it now looks like that this is not gonna be um, something that can go on the ballot um, in time for this fall, because I know Raleigh has to sign off on it if there's uh, any sort of tax increase that comes along with this. So it's not gonna happen this year. So, so what's it gonna finally take to break through and get some consensus on this? So Ben, you are absolutely right. It, we are nowhere near uh, getting this on the bond referendum. This requires a regional approach. And that's where this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. And governance is hard, let's recognize that. So this means we have to get buying from our Northern Mecklenburg region. We have to get buying from them uh, in order to be successful and which we currently do not have. So at least for next year, our focus should be on building coalitions, on building allies on this important initiatives because this initiative is going to help our entire region, not just Charlotte. Um, this past week, I, I know, going back to the housing just to, for a minute, we, we talked about these corporate landlords that are buying up, I think something like almost 14,000 homes in the Charlotte area. And, and County Commission talked about it this past week. Past week, And, and Pat Cotham actually said, Commissioner Pat Cotham um, said that she feels like this is something that the city should be taking on at this point, um, that it's less about commissioners and what they think, but something that, um, the city should be taken on. What what can we do um, about this from a city level about these? You guys can't control who buys these homes. Uh, so what then can you do? Absolutely, you're right. Uh, city cannot control who buys land, who buys existing apartments. 
we don't have that authority. However, what we can control is by continuing to invest in our affordable housing, we more than triple our investment in affordable housing. We went from 15 to $50 million in 2018, and we will continue to do that. Uh, other thing we can do is to keep folks that are currently living in dilapidated older buildings that are affordable is to continue to keep them affordable. It's by investing in NOAAs, which is called naturally occurring affordable housing units. So we are being intentional about investing in those. So for an example, we are competing with private sector where we are also buying dilapidated buildings, not as a city, but also the proposal that comes forward. We are being, we are ensuring that those proposals uh, do get a priority and they are being looked at fairly. So we are intentional about investing in NOAAs, but uh, we also have to ensure that we are giving people an opportunity to earn a livable wage. So we are investing in our workforce development initiatives. We are investing in programs and recruiting and retain, recruiting good paying jobs that are going to provide a livable wage. Last two questions real quick, and if you can answer them quickly. Uh, I'm asking all, this, all the candidates this question. The best thing about Charlotte and the thing about Charlotte that drives you crazy? <laughs> Traffic, congestion. And, and then the best part about Charlotte? The best part of Charlotte is our people. There you go, Temple Ashmira. Uh, city council at large candidate also incumbent as well we should say dimple thanks for coming on and, and congratulations on, on on the newly expanded family as well thanks so much ben all right take care